Prednisone 50 milligrams. Is that what your doctor prescribed for you? Hi, I'm Dr. Megan, your prednisone pharmacist. I'm here to talk to you all about prednisone 50 milligrams and what you can expect, what it's used for, how to taper if you need to, and common side effects you might experience. At the end, I'll share a special gift. So first of all, Prednisone 50 milligrams, is this a high dose or a low dose? So prednisone 50 milligrams is commercially available. It's a tablet size that you can actually buy in a pharmacy, but it's not very common. Prednisone 50 milligram is the least commonly prescribed strength of prednisone. More common is prednisone 10 milligrams, and then prednisone 20 milligrams, and then prednisone 5 milligrams. Those are the most commonly prescribed strengths. It's also available as 2.5 and 1 milligrams. So does prednisone 50 milligrams sound like a high or low dose? Yes, it is a high dose. And if your doctor prescribed prednisone 50 milligrams, do you have to take the 50 milligram tablets? No. Your doctor could prescribe 20 milligram tablets tablets and you could take 2.5 tablets per day. Yes, you can split them in half. And so 2.5 of the 20 milligram tablets is 20 plus 20 plus 10 equals 50 milligram tablets that you can take. And then your doctor could also prescribe prednisone 10 milligram tablets. So you would take five of the 10 milligram tablets in the day. And when would you take them? Should you take 10 in the morning and then 10 at lunch and then spread them out? No, you should not spread them out throughout the day. Generally, for most people, most doctors want you to take all of your prednisone dose first thing in the morning. So that's sometime between 6 and 8 a.m. And that's because Prednisone is mimicking your body's naturally occurring hormone called cortisol. And cortisol is what helps you wake up in the morning. And so you'd want to mimic that natural hormone being released first thing in the morning. So you'd take all five of the 10 milligram tablets or the entire 50 milligram tablet all at once, first thing in the morning. And you can take it with a glass of water or with your coffee. You can take it pretty much with anything. Some people think that it's important to take it with food. The evidence there is a little sketchy, but if you've had issues with stomach upset in the past, GERD or ulcers, then definitely take it with food, but you don't have to take it with food if you haven't had stomach problems in the past. So that's how to take prednisone 50 milligram tablets. Next, do you need to taper prednisone 50 milligrams? So often prednisone 50 milligrams is given as a five day supply. So your doctor would give you 50 milligrams on day one, 50 milligrams on day two, 50 milligrams on day three, 50 milligrams on day four, and 50 milligrams on day five, and you're done. And often that is just fine. For many people, you do not have to taper that. You simply just take it exactly as your doctor prescribed it. And then on day six, you take zero milligrams of prednisone and you move on with your life. And for a lot of people that works out just fine. There is a small minority of people that that doesn't work out, that having that much steroid, because 50 milligrams is a humongous dose compared to what your body normally secretes, which is 2.5 milligrams equivalent per day. And so that's 20 times bigger. So if you are feeling exhausted, like you can't get out of bed, your muscles are weak, maybe you feel like you're getting the flu or something, after you stop taking the prednisone, then you may need to taper. And so definitely talk to your doctor, stay in touch with them, let them know how you're feeling. You might be in prednisone withdrawal. Most people are just fine if, and don't need to taper when between 10 to 14 days or less of prednisone. But when you go beyond 10 to 14 days, you definitely need to taper. So that answered whether or not you need to taper. Most people don't. Next, what is prednisone 50 milligrams used for? Prednisone 50 milligrams is used for conditions where there's a lot of inflammation or other issues that need to be dealt with immediately. I personally had to take prednisone 60 milligrams for my condition because I was almost going to bleed to death. 
We had to stop my immune system from attacking my body's platelets. So it made sense for me to take a really high dose. It needed to save my life so I didn't die. So if what you're taking it for is life-threatening, definitely it makes sense to take such a high dose. The thing about prednisone is it can be used for almost any condition where there's inflammation or immune system problems. And so I'm going to give you a list of conditions that is commonly used for at this dose, but your doctor can literally prescribe it for almost anything. So pneumonia, if you get a severe case of pneumonia, asthma, a really bad asthma exacerbation, a gout attack, giant cell arteritis, immune thrombocytopenia, that's what I took it for. Bronchitis, now that one's a little sketchy maybe, or maybe it doesn't help. And any other really severe inflammatory condition, it could be used for that. There are other conditions where it's weight-based dosing. And so the larger a person you are, the higher the dose they need to give you. And so maybe for a child, they wouldn't need 50 milligrams or more, but as an adult, you do. So that's another possibility of what prednisone 50 milligrams could be used for. If I haven't listed your condition and you'd like to share, feel free to comment below what you are using prednisone 50 milligrams for. Next, what are prednisone 50 milligrams side effects? So I'm going to give you a list of all of the side effects, but if you're only taking prednisone five milligrams for five days, most of these are not likely in only five days. So another caveat I want to give before I give you this list is there is no complete perfect list. Prednisone is a really old drug and no drug company actually ever did testing. So the information I'm sharing with you is based on observation, not by testing and clinical trials that are controlled by an expensive test that a drug company did. So these are the most commonly associated with high doses of prednisone, like prednisone 50 milligrams. First of all, it's fluid retention. Your body is retaining, holding on to liquid water because prednisone is mimicking the hormone that your body uses to decide how much water to hold. And when you're using such a high dose, sometimes you can get swelling. You might get swelling in your knees or your feet or your face or even your hands. Swelling is a possibility. I personally got swelling in my knees and also swelling in my face. But was that swelling in my face water or was it fat redistribution? That's the next thing is prednisone causes fat redistribution. The higher the dose and the longer time you take prednisone, the more likely you are to have the fat redistribution. And that is really flattering. It's called moon face. When your face becomes round like the moon, and that's the fat redistribution. You can also get fat deposits on the back of your neck. And the most flattering one that we all love is on your belly. You can get fat deposited on your belly, making even a man look pregnant. So it's not fun having to take prednisone high doses like this. I definitely understand. I had moon face, the belly, all the things. I did not get the neck thing though, the buffalo hump. So we did fluid retention and then the fat redistribution. Next is hypertension or high blood pressure. This is related to that fluid retention because there's more liquid for your blood to have to pump. Your heart has to pump harder and that makes your blood pressure higher. And so if you didn't need blood pressure medications before, maybe while you're on prednisone, you will need it. And then the next side effect is related to this and that's cardiovascular complications. So your heart is beating harder. So you can get heart beating issues. They're called arrhythmias or irregular heartbeats. You can have something as similar as just skipping a few beats to getting full-blown arrhythmias that can be fatal. That is incredibly rare, but a possibility. And anything in between, a heart attack, stroke, those are all possibilities while on high doses of prednisone. Next, 
is high blood sugar or hyperglycemia. Prednisone is in a class of drugs called glucocorticoids. Gluco meaning glucose or sugar. It's changing the way your body metabolizes sugar. And so you hold on to more sugar than you normally would. Your body releases more sugar into your bloodstream than it normally would. And so you get high blood sugar. And this makes perfect sense if we look at your evolution and the reason your body would normally be secreting high levels of cortisol, which is what prednisone is mimicking, is so that you can survive a terrible situation, whether it's a famine or war or a tiger chasing you. It's to help you survive. And if you were in that situation, you would need the sugar to run away from the tiger to survive the famine. And so I'm really grateful to mother nature for doing this for us unless we're taking high doses of prednisone for a non-famine reason, right? And so you need to be really careful about your blood sugars while you're taking prednisone to not eat foods high in sugars. Next, you can get brain fog and other dementias or anything that makes you feel like, I just am not quite here. Like there's just my, my I don't feel like myself right now. And it can be even more than that. You can get psychiatric disturbances. You can get psychosis and depression. Severe depression is possible while on high doses of prednisone. The higher the dose, the more likely psychosis and depression are. But it, not everybody gets all of these. And certainly not everybody gets all of the psychotic and mood changes. But you might get a great mood change. You might get really like excited and have more energy than you normally would. Some people describe it as feeling 30 years younger and don't need to sleep. And it's a, like a wonderful feeling until it lasts for a long time. And then the insomnia kicks in and you're not able to sleep at night. And so prednisone is a double-edged sword. It's saving our lives and it's causing these side effects. If you are suffering these side effects or you want to know how to prevent these side effects, I created a prednisone checklist. It includes the top side effects and what you can do about them. Plus my top tips for how to counteract side effects. If you'd like to get access to this free download, just click the link below, put in your email address and download it today. Signing off as Dr. Megan, your prednisone pharmacist. 